Hey y'all, so look, I'm in the car. I can't remember if I brought my, um, I can't remember if I brought my camera or not. If I did, it's somewhere in my bag. I need to lose weight. I got on the scale this morning and I am too heavy. Whether the scale is off or not, baby, I'm too heavy. So what I'm gonna do today, I didn't bring no gym clothes. Um, you know what? It would be wise of me to stop into like a store and grab, but I don't have any sneakers. I was just gonna go to the office and get some work done. Really, that's probably what I need to focus on. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably can find some real affordable little gym shoes also in one of these stores if I go now. I need to get my workout back on and I didn't bring anything for a workout. Like, even if I was to go like do the Stairmaster or something today, it's still like, I don't have a sports bra. Like, I, I should have just packed the bag with these things because I don't want to really go buy. Like, if I go to the store and I go get, like, a workout set, that's cool because I could just throw the workout set on. But really, the issue I'm having is I have no sneakers in the car. So now I'm wondering, should I just stop by the store? I feel like if I'm going to be at the office and the gym is at the office, I might as well. Because I have to get back on my fitness. And I don't want any excuses. But typically, when I get, like, a workout set or something like that, I actually want, like to wash the clothes first. But I have on some boy shorts that are basically, to me, they're like boy shorts. Y'all know what boy shorts are. And I feel like, honestly, I could just throw on a two-piece workout set, like go to Ross, grab a two-piece. And then if I grab like a two-piece, I might be able to find me some real cute little quick sneakers to work out in. Even TJ Maxx will do the job. I just don't think. I mean, yeah, TJ Maxx. Well, I'm gonna be close to both. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Ross and I'm gonna go to, um, mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Ross and then I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx as well and see if I can find me a little fit to put together so I can work out. Y'all can't be semi trucks and school buses cutting off regular people in traffic right now because that's a little too much. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go do that. I just got myself some breakfast, but then part of me is like, do you really want to do that? Because you could just, like, figure out which lane you want to be in, sir. Like, um, so yeah, so I'm just going, I'm probably going to do that though, for real, because I need to get back fit and fine, and right now I'm fat and flabby, and I don't like it. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna tell y'all how much I weighed this morning. And let me tell y'all, cause I've been, I've been wanting to tell y'all this information for a while and I haven't, but I'm going to tell you now. I weighed in at 176 pounds this morning. Now, typically, oh baby, it's too late to put your turn signal on. Should have been put that on. Um, typically your girl don't weigh that much i first of all the last time i weighed 170s 180s is when i first became vegan and i put on all that weight i have actually been exploring and toying around with the idea of actually eating meat and here's the reason um i wanted to see if after six years of like five six years i think it's almost been six years now of me eating vegan how would my body like react and what will it feel if I was to eat meat and will it help things such as deficiencies and anemia better for me or do I need to keep doing what I'm doing so I've kind of explored with like chicken and fish type stuff like pescatarian more so not like steak and all that no normally so I went to try it and then it was like I've done it a few times and let me tell you I like how I feel better when I eat vegan eating the meat and stuff like that because i do you know experience anemia and stuff like that i feel like i could feel the 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 instant increase because meat has iron and stuff like that so i do feel like it helps me as far as my anemia but when i tell y'all eating that stuff just makes me feel like yuck like sometimes i have like times where i'm having headaches i'm just not feeling good i'm feeling like crap and it's probably because I'm reintroducing those toxins. Now, mind you, this is only a, this was a tri trial period. This wasn't like a, oh, I'm going back to eating meat permanently. No, this is not that. This was like a, you're not going to know what's best for you until you try it again. 
And I went to dairy. I'm staying away from dairy because y'all know how I feel about dairy. Dairy makes me feel sick and I don't like how it breaks me out. This doesn't have any dairy in it. Mm. That specific Starbucks do they thing when they make that for me. Um, so to make a long story short, like, let's go. To make a long story short, I don't like myself eating it. <clears throat> it might temporarily do what it needs to do for me, but it doesn't permanently do what it needs to do. And it just takes me back to feeling like how I used to feel, which was like, F this. Like, I don't like how I feel, right? So when I got on that scale this morning and I seen 176, when I've seen the 170s, period, I was like, huh? So I'm going to run into TJ Maxx and hope I can find me like a little workout set, bra and pants together, if at all. Um, that way I don't have to, I should have went to Ross because they're going to have a cheaper, they're going to have more of a selection. Like, go, go. Like, they try to be so nosy that they don't know how to work, work a four-way stop. Go, girl. Do you not know how to work? How do two of y'all not know how to work a four-way stop? Wow. They just be giving people anybody licenses. But anyway, um, I'm going to go in this store and see if I can find something. I don't want my food to get cold and I don't want my drink to melt. So this has to be a really quick mission. So I will follow back up with y'all in a bit. Stay tuned. Hey, babes, look back in the car. So I stopped by TJ Maxx and I start by Ross. They both had such cute little items. But let me tell you what I did. So I stopped and I picked up some um, like workout wear and I saw some other cute stuff. So y'all know I have a problem anyway going into the stores. I need a chaperone. I've been saying this for years, but I went in there and I did what I said I was going to do. So I found me some little workout sets. I found a couple, but I found literally like one in an, and um, I'm going to put on an oversized jacket with it probably depending on who's in the gym because this is like my gym for like business but it's also like I feel like it depending on the setting you kind of sometimes want to cover up a little bit more if you don't got the gym so privately to yourself but baby I'm getting on a Stairmaster today I said that a little too confidently I think I'm getting on a treadmill and a Stairmaster and I told you guys that my new routine is going to incorporate my fitness at my office so we do have showers and stuff at the office I'm not too sure I'm going to shower after I work out this go round because once I'm done, I think I'm going to go and um, maybe shoot a little pool. Y'all know me, baby. Go go, detox, relax my mind. But I am planning on being in the office for a good amount of time. So that's why I'm kind of like, mm. <coughs> oh, wow. Wow. I'm planning on being in the office for a good amount of time. So I'm thinking... There is a possibility that I could like work out and then, um, I don't know y'all. It's a couple of situations, scenarios that I can play out, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for right now. I'm trying to see if I want to take the streets. The streets, the streets, because this interstate sometimes get real hectic with that traffic flow. Let the car over. Y'all see they need to get over. Um, it gets crazy for that rush hour. And I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Trying to determine if I should take the streets. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Because I know the streets, baby. I know the streets. And I know the, the non-streets. But I don't feel like driving that long for that far. Oh, baby. You've been there. You needed to get over. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, miss ma'ams. If your tag is from this state, baby, you know this interstate exists. Don't be doing that last minute. But anyway, I told you I'm going to start incorporating my workouts with my uh, business stuff. So I'm going to go to the office. I need to tighten up my glasses because they keep falling on the bridge of my nose. And it's really like I already have a piggy nose. But it's really like making it like even more piggy um, than usual because it's just sitting there. So I do not want to be trapped behind no truck. Big, big box trucks um so yeah i'm gonna start going to work doing what i need to do and then i'm gonna go to the gym while at work so some days i might have time to run home and take a shower other days i might not have time to run home and take a shower once i'm done um but you gotta re remember i do have a dog too so i left the house at about <coughs> 12 something he's got food water he went to the bathroom 
But by the time I go to the office, I work out, I do all of that. And the traffic kind of dies down. I might stop back by the house to feed him and stuff and let him use the bathroom. And then I'll leave again. Or I'm just going to go from my office and I'm just going to go straight to go shoot pool. Both ways, he's like equipped for the full day. So it's like whether or not I go back or not, he's good. But it's like I might want to let him use the bathroom if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I was 176. I didn't get to finish telling y'all earlier. So, yeah, I tried to dabble back into eating like meat. But on some like, not even on some like, just on some rah-rah. Not on some like, oh, she eats meat. She ain't vegan no more. On some tester. And some people would say, hey... Yeah, if you're eating any kind of meat, you're no longer a vegan. You got to start all over. But who cares about all of that? Like, I'm still vegan. I still eat vegan. I just wanted to see, am I, am I making more of a detriment to my own health by consuming vegan? Or, because remember, I used to be sick off of everything I was eating, including dairy, meats, and everything. So, I stopped having that for such a long time. Now, it's more so like, okay, we knew that. We've surpassed that um, by going vegan. It worked out. But I just wanted to, like I said, dabble back to see, okay, do you feel like you can improve? Because you guys know I'm on a self-improvement of my, my mind, body, and soul again. And I want to make sure that I am nourishing. I'm feeding my entire life. I want to make sure that I'm feeding... Um, I want to make sure that I'm um, feeding my entire life, mind, body, soul, everything. So, at the end of the day, it's like, I do want to make sure I'm not, you know, missing out on anything that could be great for my body. And I, I still want to eat vegan because let me tell you, what, how I feel not eating vegan, I don't like it. I feel overweight I feel like I'm gaining too much I feel like the toxins in my body the toxicity is just next level so I'm not necessarily like feeling like I'm missing anything um by not doing by not eating that I just like eating vegan better like I do like even with this trial I have tacked on so much weight in such a short period of time as I just told you guys I am 176 when I was just eating vegan, I was like, oh, I need to lose weight because I've been gaining weight. But I was like 150s, almost 160, like, you know, or maybe even in the 160s. I don't know. But I just knew I was talking about needing to get back to my 125s, 130s. Girl, I'm 176 on this little meat air, uh, meat trial. What I notice is when you're eating meat and stuff like that, it not only puts more weight on me, but it makes me want to eat more. It makes me want to snack. And I don't know if it's the toxins in the body, but when I eat vegan, I don't snack typically during the day. And if I do, they're healthy snacks. But I normally eat straight meals or a straight something. And like I said, if it is some type of snack, it's probably like fruits or protein or something that's going to, you know, aid me in what I'm doing. But baby girl, no, I'm not going for it get somebody else to do it type of thing so yeah i'm going to the office right now i'm gonna sit down get some work done um yeah i said let me vlog real quick off my phone because girl i think i left the camera at the house and then also i don't want to be spending the whole day running my yap um but not actually filming me running my yap so yeah the meat thing at mm, tried it don't want to go back stand vegan and then the um let me talk to y'all later because people is staring at me myself today I'm gonna come into the office I was gonna stay home because you know obviously my dog is home and I just like to make sure that I kind of give him some time to do what needs to be done so I'm taking out all of the things that I'm gonna be using today so let me just tell you guys what I'm using and why and then we'll talk about intentionality and what my goals are for the rest of the year and what my goals are for the rest of the month so first things first is i have my planner he has a plan for me a daily prayer journal and you guys know that your girl is on why did I, yeah yeah you're you know that your girl gonna have this which puts me into um to remember i wanted to buy the five minute prayer plan like so many is it five minute prayer plan or is that what i used to have i think that's what i used to have the five minute journal or whatever 
I want to buy that from Amazon and I think they have different editions but I got this from TJ Maxx I think a while ago but when you open this up it actually has like Lord I lift you up in prayer uh, or I lift to you in prayer and on here you basically write what you're lifting in prayer and then you can date it and write it so I'm going to be making these entries on a daily so that I can go back and always look and say look on this day you were feeling this type of way and this is what you prayed for and go back and say this is what has already happened because once you start claiming and you manifest the things that you want in your life then there's no reason as to why you will not accomplish them so set the bar highest and go above it if you set a high like a high standard don't think that you have to lower your qualities or your standards to to fit the mold of society be a boss and do what you need to do so first thing that's first is you guys know that i've always felt like no matter what you do in this life everybody believes in a different type of religion i believe in god i don't know what or whom y'all believe in and i'm not here to like try to change your perception either way it goes but I always feel like you need to have be centered. And in order for me to be centered, I have to be centered with God. And I feel like I'm gonna always give him credit for where I've been, where I've come from, where I'm going. And I'm always gonna give him credit for what I've achieved and what I've accomplished. So let me first get a little video of this real quick because this is a real cute little video. They on the boat. It's the views for me. Going under there. Hold on, y'all, because I'm really getting content right now. So just let me finish my little content. Okay. So, anyway, um, I, I'm always going to give credit to where credit is due. And the first lot of credit for me is God. I've been through so many different things in my life, and I'm still standing. And I'm not just standing because I'm just standing. I'm standing because God has literally kept me when I didn't want to be kept. He's kept me when I didn't feel like I, I don't, you know, could go on just in general. Like, I think the magnitude of the story of my life is huge. And I'm not going to be divulging everything today or on my channel right now. So I'm just letting you know that that's where I start. You have to figure out where is your foundation. My foundation lies in Christ. I might waver. I might, you know, get off track, off kilter, off whatever, but I'm always reeled back into exactly where I need to be. So for me, that center, that foundation is God. When your center and your foundation is strong, your your structure is going to be built upon a very firm foundation. So for me, if you center it right, you do it right, you'll be okay. You know what I mean? So um, let me take other things out real quick as I'm talking to y'all. So this notebook I got, I think, from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross, and it said noted, and it has actually notes. And if you look, I have, like, a, a whole theme of, like, creams, browns, like, that's just blacks, neutral colors are really my thing. And then I have my little journal. This journal literally is how I was keeping track of raising my credit score and all of the intricate details that I needed to to be successful. So this is like my credit entry and then I have bills, budgets, and I have a whole bunch of different little categories within here. I got this little thing from Dollar Tree a long time ago and it's still holding on. So whenever the booklet's done, I can keep the leather bound and just replace it with another small notebook to fit in here. Highly recommend. Then I bought my iPad, which I'm going to have to charge. And then I also bought, um, let me see, a few pens. And then I bought the, let me see, keeping the books for accounting systems. And then I have a notebook, real estate. And then I also have buying your first home, real estate, this, these things. And these are just books that I keep for keeping up with my content and keeping up with like what's going on. And just, you know, sometimes you reread books and you will learn or go back and realize that like, hey, I didn't catch that lesson the first time. But now that I reread and I did this again, I can catch that lesson again. So I'm always keeping my mind sharpened because your mind is a tool and you want to keep it sharpened if you don't sharpen your mind if you don't use the gifts and talents and things that you have you will lose it so i'm real careful not to lose it so that's why i'm always you know hard on myself when it comes down to making sure that i stay on topic i 
thought my tab, I thought my shirt was on backwards, but it's not. Anyway, so I have the laptop, I have all of those. The first thing I'm gonna do, I keep saying the first thing, and it's like the umpteenth thing. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because if you are looking to improve yourself, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether you're in real estate, whether you're in corporate nine to five, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you're always gonna be able to learn something from my channel because it's literally about growth. So let me, give me a second. I'm going to go to my notes real quick. In fact, I'm actually gonna start with my prayer journal real quick. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put me some prayer entries into here. Today's the 19th and it's 2.30 oh my God. So let me do this. So I just journaled my, um, I don't like how this pen is writing, but I just journaled my entry for the 19th of April. <clears throat> I hope I don't end up ripping this page out because I get it like that, especially if I don't like how a pen writes, I will rewrite. I will get some things together. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually journal for my, let me go back. So I have a category that's for like bills, budget, credit, assets, and revolving credit. I have like literally one. But I'm gonna create my bill sheet and then I'm gonna create what I wanna budget. And this is gonna be for the month of May. So we're gonna say May 2023 and then May 2023. So um, for my budget, I want to save and then I will have how much I wanna save for the month. And then um, I'll have my bills and then I'll have earnings. I want to earn, 
So I'll have my budget, my earnings that I want to earn for the month. And then I will have, um, I want to pay off. Okay. So I'm going to have a number that I want to save for the month, a number that I want to earn, a number I want to pay off, and then I want to say invest. I want to have a number that I want to invest. So if any of my of investment accounts I want to invest and then donate slash charity I want to give dun 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 or donate and I'll do money so it'll be money or give away something so I have my budget my earnings my balance my investing I just feel like the more you get I'm always blessed no matter how grave I think my situation is on certain days because it's not really great but it, it, on days that you feel like you're in your feelings about something just know that there's somebody who's wishing for your situation or wish and I'm not saying that I'm ungrateful or anything like that. I just feel like no matter what I have, I will always be giving away or I will always be doing something to see the brightness in somebody else's eyes because you have to be a blessing when you're blessed, regardless. That's just point blank period. Nobody should have to tell you whether you're giving away something, you're donating money, or you are volunteering, which I'm putting for volunteer. So as long as I'm constantly in a state of that, I feel great giving is one of my love languages it's my strongest love language um whether it's giving affection in a relationship and always giving me or it's giving back in a volunteering volunteering setting or charity or whatever that's just like my love language like if i do something like i can be in the store and if i'm thinking of you i'll get something that reminds me of you and i'll get it for you i'm not looking for anything in return that's just how i am whether you're you're a significant other, you're a sibling, you're my friend. Like I was in the store before and I know my friend was trying to um, boss up more. And I'm just thinking these journals will really suit my friend and I got the journals for my friend. You know, like, or, oh, this smells like so-and-so. Let me get this. Or the other day I was in the store and this water bottle that I have that my sister wanted, I seen they had one, so I got it for her. It's things like that. And it's not always on a monetary basis. I'm just saying I have thoughts like that. I could be literally somewhere and be like, hmm, these flowers remind me of. So that's just me. I always want to give back. So like I said, we're going to have a category where it's bills, um, which bills are really expensive, you know. Um, so we're going to put our bills slash expenses. We're going to do our budget, our earning, our investing, our donating to charity and um I'm going to say budget slash savings. I'm going to say I want to save, I want to spend. So I need to start pulling back the reels on savings and spending. When you are striving to be successful, you have to want to save more than you have want to spend. And you want to have to, you, you want to be able to make more capital so that you can invest more than anything. So your strategy, your goal should be like, what can I do to really like save when you boss up? And that's what you should be doing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so that's what we wanna do. And then I'm trying to see. So we have balances. When I say balances, I'm really referring to like uh, credit. 